Hi, my name is Jackie Fink and I'm the creator behind Little Dandelion. I work from my home in Sydney, from my living room, and I get to enjoy the sounds of Sydney Harbour from here and I thoroughly love my little slice. And I have a somewhat bonkers obsession with making really large scale textiles, installations, wall hangings from exclusively merino wool. Uh, mostly from Australia, but also from New Zealand. Merino wool is an incredible fibre. It's completely luxurious. It's beautiful to the touch. And I started my journey with extreme knitting and this beautiful fibre about five years ago now. The story behind how it all came to be is quite long and a little sad and traumatic. So I'm not going to go into that now, but suffice to say this has been my salvation from a very deep and dark hole that I had found myself in. To me, extreme knitting uh, and my particular process is like therapy or mindfulness on steroids. When I first started out, I worked exclusively with this beautiful fibre. Uh, this is known as merino tops. Some people call it roving, uh, other people call it unspun wool. And as you can see, it creates a really beautiful scale. The texture is incredible. It looks like a cloud and it's good enough to eat. But the reality is, it's not a proper knitting yarn. It's extremely delicate. It will peel excessively with even the mildest of uses. And it's just not functional. Um, I realised that very early on in the development stages of my work, even before I launched my business, I realised that I couldn't in all good consciousness knit a throw, hand it out to the world, left in this raw form. And so I taught myself how to felt this fibre once the piece was made up. Felting is really tricky and it's a bit fraught and it's a really hard thing to teach to somebody else on this scale. So what I did was start looking for a mill I could work with who could incorporate all the things I'd learnt with dealing with this beautiful fibre, but put it into the form of a proper knitting yarn so I could share what I do with other knitters. So now that I've developed my proper knitting yarn, we've gone from a situation where this is bound to happen sooner rather than later with anything made from unspun wool which is not felted to a proper knitting yarn which is made from the same product essentially this is beautiful merino tops from New Zealand which goes through a really technical and special process in the mill where it's twisted and felted and so by the time it comes out it replicates the scale I'm able to achieve once I felt the unspun wool. But there's nothing more to be done. All you need to do is knit. It's incredibly soft. It's made from really fine merino tops, uh, but it's a really robust performer. So I've made sure that it has a low peeling quotient, that it still remains beautiful against the skin, and provides all the joy that a large-scale handmade knitted piece provides. I'm just going to sit down now to go through the ins and outs of extreme knitting because it is a little different from regular knitting. This yarn here I've called K1S1, which is a bit of a play on knitting language and is short for knit one, share one. I've created this yarn in two sizes. Um, my main size being this big five kilo bump. It's a beauty. And I've done it in this way because I hate joins. I can't stand joining my work. And so a bump this size enables you to knit a really decent size throw without any joins. And so that's the process I'm going to take you through today. Before we start the knitting though, I need to explain a few things about what it is to extreme knit. 